All right, g'day guys. This is the first tutorial video uh, for the CAD activity booklet. Uh, please make sure before starting this video, make sure you've watched the previous video, which is how to get um, you know, your SketchUp screen set up so you've got all the right tools. You've got your large tool set and your solid tools up here. Um, also how to you know, prepare your screen so you've got SketchUp on one side and you've got um, your booklet on the other side. And also it's gonna go through how to set up your folder structure because you're actually gonna to need to save these um, every time you draw one to submit it to your teacher at the end. Um, so make sure you watch that video. It'll also go through a few tips and tricks on how to use SketchUp. Um, but you know, we'll work through them here as well. So uh, number one square block. Any drawing we do in this activity booklet, there's heaps in here. Um, any activity we do, we want to, the first thing we do is look at the footprint of the shape or the block or whatever you want to call it. Um, the footprint means what is actually sitting on the ground. What are the dimensions of that? So we can see on the ground here, we've got a hundred millimeters long and we need to know how long that side is. Now, if a dimension is not shown on one side, generally, or there is a general rule that it should be shown somewhere else on the drawing. So if I look to the opposite side, I can see that's 100 millimeters as well. So I know the footprint of my model is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So the tool I want for that is a is the rectangle tool, which you can find here. I click on that once. When you're drawing in SketchUp, don't get in the habit of doing this. Clicking, holding the mouse button down, because anytime you let go, see how it's dropped the square there? I'm gonna press Control Z to undo that. Um, another thing you'll notice is when whenever you press Control, it switches from a corner rectangle to a center rectangle. See how it's drawing a bit differently now? But if I press control again, it brings it back to a corner rectangle. Center rectangle, corner rectangle. Um, this time I have clicked once, let go of the mouse and I'm dragging it around. I'll press escape so I can show you that again. I'm gonna click once on the origin point, move it across this way. And now my hand is off the mouse, but the shape hasn't dropped down yet. So I can still move it to wherever I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the dimensions, which were 100 by 100. See down this part of the screen here, we've got dimensions. That's where the numbers you type are going to come up. So make sure you keep your eye on that. I'm going to type in 100,100, enter. Right, And there's my little shape there. It looks pretty small. It doesn't look as big as it does here. All we need to do is use the, I guess, zoom in function, which is just using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in. There's a couple other ways you can do it. If you want, you can grab this magnifying glass and kind of do that. But I, I don't know. That's, I find that pretty hard. Um, one common thing that happens is people will actually accidentally zoom away and they can't actually find their shape again. That's an easy fix. All you got to do is click the magnifying glass with the, um, with the red arrows and it brings you right back to where you want to be. Okay, so that's a handy tool to know about. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use the scroll wheel to zoom out a little bit because I'm a bit close. Now, we've got the footprint of our shape. That's fantastic. We need to look at our drawing and see how tall it needs to be. We need to make it 3D now. So let's look at the height of that object. We can see from here to here is 100 millimeters. So it's a perfect cube. So that's pretty easy to do. I'm just going to use this push-pull tool up here, or you can find it over here. And again, don't click and drag. If I click and drag, whenever I let go of the mouse, it drops it where I left it. I don't want to do that. I press Control Z, and this time I'm just going to click once, move the mouse up. See, at the moment I'm at distance 50. That's not where I want to be. I want to be at 100. Enter. There we go. See, distance 100. So that there is a perfect cube. Look at that. 100 by 100 by 100. Okay. Now, it's up to you. If you want, you can color in your model when you finish. Uh, if you click the paint bucket up here, you go into the materials uh, tray and you can go to colors and you can paint it whatever you like. You can paint one side, one color, different side, different color. Totally up to you. Um, there's all sorts of different things you can paint it. Don't spend too long painting it. Um, better off getting started on the next drawing. We need to save our drawing. So we're going to go file, save, and then we're going to go to the folder that we set up before. Now remember, yours will be in a different drive or a different um, location. Mine's in my Google Drive file stream. Here, you should have your folder called CAD activities. If we go into there, and we need to call it exactly what is typed here. You need to type that exact title. So, no, n, yeah, no, one, hyphen, in caps, carriage, stop. 
save. Perfect. We can get out of that tray. And that's our number one carriage stop done. Looks fantastic. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go File, New. Brings us back to the home page. Look at the next one, number two, rectangle block. All right, check the next video tutorial and we'll see how we get started on that.